Bonjour, mon nom est Nzuzi Mianziola. Je suis venue ici avec mon mari qui s'appelle euh, le pasteur Séraphin Kwasi et nous sommes venus du Canada et euh, nous sommes venus pour euh, chercher la délivrance parce que Dieu nous avait parlé au sujet de ce problème alors euh, au travers de mon mari et alors on s'est dit et il nous a donné la direction également où aller. Alors euh, nous sommes venus ici chez Acharis Missionary Church en Afrique du Sud et par, au travers de l'apôtre Makananissa. Et en tout cas, nous sommes bénis. Et en venant ici, l'homme de Dieu nous a parlé de tout, tous les problèmes que nous avions traversés et que nous traversions surtout dans notre relation, dans notre mariage. Et euh, en tout cas, il a touché vraiment les points essentiels que personne d'autre ne connaissait que nous deux. Et même euh, sur ma vie et sur la vie de mon mari, surtout sur, le, sur la vie de mon mari, ça m'a tellement choqué <rire> que je me suis dit, ça c'est vraiment le Saint-Esprit qui a agi. Parce que lui ne nous a pas parlé depuis qu'on est arrivé, donc on ne lui a pas parlé, on ne lui a rien dit. Et on sait que c'est le Saint-Esprit qui a agi au travers de l'homme de Dieu. Alors je vais encourager toute personne, comme l'apôtre Makanani, ça le dit souvent, que nous avons tous besoin de délivrance. Et c'est vrai, nous, avions, nous avons vraiment tous besoin de délivrance. Alors euh, j'inviterai chaque personne qui voit que sa vie ne va pas de l'avant, c'est tout le temps des problèmes, donc c'est les mêmes choses qu'il revit de sa femme ou les choses que sa famille a vécues, leur famille ont vécu et qui revivent les mêmes choses encore et encore. Donc j'inviterai chaque personne de venir ici parler, bon, rencontrer l'homme de Dieu et que l'homme de Dieu qui a été oué par Dieu va leur parler et vraiment apporter cette délivrance parce que tout le monde en a besoin. Donc, je remercie l'apôtre la, Makananissa avec Maman Younis et toute la famille de Charis. Donc, nous vous remercions. Nous avions tellement été bien accueillis. Et nous, en tout cas, on repart au Canada euh, free, libre. <rire> libre. Et nous remercions Dieu pour ce voyage. Merci. Amen. Euh, moi, mon mot serait d'inviter chacun à, à aller au-delà du mot euh, « délivrance ». La délivrance, c'est chercher de l'aide. Ce n'est pas forcément euh, euh, autre chose négative, c'est quelque chose de bien. Euh, quelqu'un qui a besoin de délivrance, c'est quelqu'un qui cherche de l'aide euh, parce qu'il rencontre euh, certaines difficultés et qu'il n'arrive pas à les résoudre. Et donc, il y a toujours quelqu'un, quelque part, que Dieu a ouin qui peut faire partie de la solution de Dieu pour nous aider à surpasser ou à surmonter ce, ce défi ou cette situation-là. Et pour nous, nous l'avions trouvé chez Acharis Missionary Church en Afrique du Sud, à Johannesburg, où nous sommes présentement. Et ce pourquoi nous sommes venus, eh bien, par la grâce de Dieu, nous avions été visités par l'homme de Dieu. Et il a aussi prié avec nous. Et nous repartons confiants que toutes les paroles prophétiques que nous venons de recevoir, eh bien, par la foi, nous savons que c'est vrai et que nous allons les vivre au, euh, au sortir d'ici. Donc, euh, nous encourageons chacun à observer ou examiner sa vie. Et s'il y a quoi que ce soit qui vous semble anormal, eh bien, n'hésitez pas à chercher de l'aide auprès de Charis Missionary Church en Afrique du Sud avec l'apôtre Makananissa. Merci. My name is Nzuzi Mianziola, and my husband's name is Serafin Kwasi, Pastor Serafin Kwasi. Sorry, I'm coming from Canada, and my husband as well. We came here for deliverance, and we got it. We believe that God heard our prayers, so, and we are going back fully delivered in Jesus' name. In every area of my life. <laughs> That's really specifically in my marriage, but uh, it, in every area of my life as well. So the challenge was like we were married, but not quite married. <laughs> in uh, our home, we felt like we were married yet. We, we were married, yes, but we didn't life, live like a married couple. So this was hard on us, on both of us because we are we were not that happy 
But uh, now I believe that God heard our prayers through the man of God, Apostle Makananisa, and we believe that uh, all is well now. And we're going to live fully our marriage from now on. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> wow. I saw how my life was, and uh, it was like struggle all the time. Limitation, barriers, so I said, and we spoke, I spoke to my husband, or my husband spoke to me, <laughs> he came to me first, and he said that uh, God told him that uh, we need to, to go through a deliverance, and uh, we should come here in South Africa, and uh, to see the man of God, Apostle Makananisa. Oh, because when I went um, on YouTube, I heard him saying that everybody need deliverance. Amen. And the second thing, he said that um, even if we are in the ministry, we need deliverance in order to go to the to the second level and uh, i knew that w we were stagnating uh, there there was a stagnation in our ministry in our marriage and from them we decided to to come uh, yeah and he said also that he he want to help uh, ministers, those who are in ministry, and as I said to my wife, that is the place. This is the place where we should go. What I'm learning here is that I see the power of God manifested. I see the teaching. I hear the teaching of the man of God, and uh, the way he work here. And what God is doing here uh, challenges me. Okay, the man of God started saying that he was seeing an angel standing behind me. And he gave me the name of the angel. And he also said that the name of that angel is what I'm bearing as a name. Uh, which I confirm that is true. <laughs> And also, he talked about what we were uh, having as a challenge in our room, our home, as a couple. He said that we were living as two people who are not married. So we need to be married. And this will be good for us. And this will help our ministry. And he also said that uh, uh, he's seeing a calling that we have a ministry, but we are going to, to base. And people will come to us for the work of ministry. Uh, which I, we confirm that is true because we came here to have, a, let's say, a, a, a direction for our ministry. And, and we were blessed to hear that God was directing us through him. Yeah, if you want to say something, add some of the things that... Uh, no, yeah. He said it all. <laughs> so, yeah... Oh yeah, he spoke even about the, my husband's issues of uh, sugar. And that is so true. So he's really a man of God. So we understand now and we know that uh, the Holy Spirit is speaking through him. So everything he said was 100% true. 100%. So we are so thankful to come here. And um, we're going to live with my heart is so full. <laughs> And uh, I see the love here. So it's like even for us, we are seeing the ministry in a new, new eyes, as I can say. So this is, this is what I'm going to go 
wave in Canada. So it's something new for me. And uh, I will never forget this place. Never, never, never. And we will continue to pray for Charis and to come. <laughs> if God gives us uh, the mean, yes, we will continue to come. Because it's truly, he's, the man of God is truly helping people. For what I see, it's great. He's doing such a great job. And uh, it's not for money. It's really because he loves people. And that's what God wants us to do to love one another and uh, this is like uh, wow my heart is so full <laughs> so thank you very much for charis ministry i'm so happy i feel light i feel free and now i know that my god-given purpose is going to be fulfilled and uh, i'm walking in my god-given destiny and uh, i know that god is with me because of that angel that uh, Apostle Makanisa said also when he saw me first, when he was looking at me, he says the same thing. He said to my husband, when I look at you, I see an angel. I don't know why, but I see an angel. So I say, wow, thank you, God. So God is with us. And we're going to share that gospel to, to the world. <laughs> and we are so happy. Yes. The man of God, after giving me the word of prophecy, he also prayed for me and even prayed for something that he was seeing that I was not aware of. He prayed against and he declared uh, healing over me. And I received that word and I, I confess that from the time he prayed till the end of my day on earth, I will be, <laughs> I will be, uh, never be sick again, or I will never have this disease, disease again. Yeah. I thank God for that. I thank Amen. God for that. Yeah. And He gave also, also He gave us three months <laughs> to see the glory of God. He said, from now, and He tell us, He, he told us some of the things that we should do, mm -hmm. and if we do that, from now till three months we will see result, great result. Mm -hmm. And we are going to work on it. I, I will say the same word that Apostle Makananisa used to say every day. Everybody need deliverance. And maybe the word deliverance shock mm -hmm. maybe people. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is true. When you understand mm -hmm. uh, the meaning of deliverance, who, whatever you are, uh, you, you will realize that you need deliverance. You will need deliverance. Deliverance is the good thing, but you cannot, you cannot have it uh, everywhere. You have to go to the specific person who can help you. And this is the reason why we are here. And we, we invite everybody, everybody, as long as they see in their life that there is some challenges who, okay, never move. It's like those challenges repeat them, themselves. They are always there. They are always there. This is an indication that they need someone to help them to, to go through, through that challenge. And for us, the person that God revealed to us is Apostle Makananisa. And we, 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 we hope that those who will listen to us they will also make their mind, their mind to come for, to seek deliverance. And this will help them. So, word of advice? Okay. So, I'm going to tell everyone. <laughs> My husband said it so clearly. Everyone needs deliverance. And um, to remove the blockage, to remove the limitation, to remove the, uh, the setbacks, you really need deliverance. And uh, this has been so, so great for us. And uh, I'm gonna invite or encourage everyone to come and uh, seek for their deliverance, to be able to move forward. When you are seeing that you are struggling, you really need a man of God that God has ordained to help you move forward instead of uh, just sitting there and uh, relieving your past or relieving everything that your mother or your uncle on, or your family lived, you are the first to rise up like Joseph and uh, 
uh, and uh, we open the way, yeah. So for the others as well to enter their Kana. So thank you very much to the men of God and to Mama Eunice as well and to all the people of Charis. We are so, I'm so moved, overwhelmed. So I don't know what to say <laughs> because I'm so overwhelmed and thank you, thank you every, everybody. We've been blessed. Thank you. <laughs>